All right, so this week I'd like to start off with a basic squat. So we're going to start with foot placement. So ideally, once you go a little bit wider than shoulder width, you can turn your feet out a little bit, externally rotate about 15, 20 degrees. You can play with different positions, see where you feel the most comfortable. From here, before we go down, we want to try and keep our spine straight as we go through the motion. So a big part of that is really trying to keep your chest out or moving your spine forward. So as you think about trying to keep your chest out, and then just try and drop down. From here, come back up. A lot of people don't know what to do with the arms. I tend to just leave them hanging. You can let them just ride down your legs. You can go to the outside or go to the inside. So you'll see a lot of people kind of hold their arms out when they do squats, different things. I'm trying to get people to move as relaxed as possible. So that's one of the reasons I have them just hang in the middle and try and keep a straight spot. From here, if you're comfortable at the bottom, you can put one hand down and just the opposite leg, just try and do like a little circle with that knee, because you're just trying to loosen your hips up in this bottom position. From here, you can just switch, go to the opposite side. And again, you're just trying to draw a circle with that knee, just trying to loosen up the hips. And from there, you can stand up, squat back down again, and see if it helps increase any of the range of motion. If you're having problems getting to a body weight squat, there's a few things we can try and uh, do to help that. One of the things I like to use, uh, if you have like a pull-up bar and bands, you can always set the band up on there. Put my, I like to put my arms through it. You back up a little bit from it. Now, this is going to help me when I squat down, let me keep my spine straight. So it just gives me an idea of what it feels like to squat with a straight spine. I'm never going to be able to replicate this, which is body weight, but it lets you kind of get some reps in to learn what it feels like. From there, you can come out of it. And then, just try and mimic that same straight spine feeling. Because at the bottom, we don't want to round over. Ideally, you want to stay nice and tall. And another thing, if you're having issues getting down, you can set yourself a target. So I like to just use these folding mats because you can change them in little two-inch increments. You can use an ottoman, a small dog, a uh, pile of books, whatever you have around the house. So you can just go down, try and keep your spine straight, touch your butt, you can sit down, come back up. So just go with whatever range of motion you have, try and keep your heels down all the time. Come up, squat down, come up. Once you're comfortable there, you can always raise it up. Now it's going to be our target's going to be a little bit lower. Again, squat down, touch your butt, come up. So if you can't do a rock bottom squat in the beginning, don't worry about it. It's a lot easier. Just pick a target and work at a distance you're comfortable with. And over time, just keep trying to get a little bit lower and lower. So to start the uh, little workout for today, we're going to have you come down on the mat. Come down on your knees and try and just sit back on your feet. You can come, once you can comfortably do that, from here, you're going to tuck your toes underneath, put your hands down, and then just push yourself back. From here, put your hands down again, point your toes, sit back. Hands down, come back. So you can just play with this, do about 8 to 10 reps. Just trying to get that, what it feels like, just trying to get the motion down. So once you're comfortable using your hands, then we're going to try and go without our hands. So you tuck your toes, try and shift back. From here you're going to try and come forward, trying to stay in control. And touch your knees, come back. Tuck your toes, shift back. 
Come forward. Come back. Okay, from there, you're going to set up whatever your squat position is. And last week, I had you trying to work on breath work. So we were trying to be mindful whenever we were sitting, when we were walking, we were trying to do breath work drills. So now we're going to do 10 squats, exhaling on the way down, inhaling on the way up. So you can, do, you can go very audible if you want. Now we're going to do 10, but we're going to ex inhale on the way down and exhale on the way up. Now we're going to do 10 holding our breath. I know it sounds weird, but we're trying to learn to move our bodies no matter what part of the breath cycle we're on, whether we're inhaling, exhaling, uh, holding our breath, it shouldn't matter. We should still be able to move and not create tension in our bodies. So I'm going to hold my breath on the inhale. So then try and recover. Once you're recovered from that, we're going to put one foot back on the top of our foot. A little bit about a foot behind our opposite foot. From here, I'm just going to squat down and try and go into this little position. Come up. Switch sides. On these, don't worry about your back rounding over so much. Since you're coming down, like to try to make like that little package, it's it's inevitable you're gonna round your body over. So try and do, if you can, 10 reps of everything each day for the next week till the next video comes out. And don't worry if, it's, if you do 5 reps of each thing one day, 10 reps the other day, that's fine. Just go by how your body's feeling and try and have fun with it. See you next week.